Hello collective. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. Let's tap in to get a message for you guys. This is for all signs. Please keep in mind that this is general, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. Take the messages that resonate with you in your personal situations and leave the rest. All right, you guys. What you need to know. What do you need to be aware of? What do you need to know? What do you need to be aware of? Okay. <clears throat> Overall energy, please. For this reading. Okay, so something is over. Wow. Okay, somebody could have lost everything. There's some bad luck going on. So something is over. Something came to a complete end. Okay, um, somebody could have been doing some sort of ceremony or seance. Okay, somebody want to know, like, what you know, what kind of uh, magic do you know? Um, do you know it was them? Somebody could be related to you um, and their friends or whatever the case may be. Somebody could work for fast food, um, a female. All right, and I've seen a very heavy set male, okay? Um, that could be their friend or somebody that they work with. They all were heavy set, so these people, um, I don't know if you have a heavy set uh, relative, sister, um, or cousin, or something like that, collective. Um, but. Somebody wanted to see, like, what do you know? Or somebody wanted to know what kind of magic you know. All right, somebody could be uh, a woodland witch, okay? Um, and they wanted to know, like, are you into that or whatever? There could be an event or something somebody going to. There could be a party going on in the woods with somebody and y'all ready to go. Like, um, somebody is definitely, there could be some sort of spiritual gathering Happening there very soon, okay. Of course, it's the um, and your tribe. I feel like some of y'all, it's a tribe of people that want to want you to join them, okay. Um, they may be asking you either telepathically, um, or they're asking you, do you want to, you know, join them with their ceremony, whatever they're doing on the eclipse. I feel like it's a they're having some sort of like party. You know, and the energy I was getting off of that was exciting. Like, you know, every, you know, uh, which of all kinds, like whatever this is, it's like all y'all would be like excited about that because of the nature of it. It looked like a masquerade ball or something like that. Somebody could have been going to a masquerade ball or that's the theme of the wood party, the party in the woods. I mean, I don't know, but it looks like it's going to be fun. Okay. <laughs> um... But somebody wanted to know, would you, like, even be into that? But there was a lot of mirrors, though, like, large mirrors. Not no little mirrors, but large mirrors. So, I don't know if somebody plan on, I don't know. <laughs> they know a portal opening, and they like, look, I'm trying to open it. I'm trying to get, you know, X, Y, and Z. They like, but we need somebody like you to come with us, though, because it'll add extra protection or something like that. So, I don't know, all right? This person knows that something is over, though. All right? Somebody could have lost something by trying to manifest something. All right? Somebody, it could be a lot of bad luck coming for somebody because there's a lot of new coming for somebody. So, they could be a Scorpio, okay, of, of significance here that want to join you now. If this person was against you, and this could be a relative, they want to join you. And it's a female, so... Um, I don't know because of the nature of it. I, I feel like you, if you, I mean, do what you want. All right. But they lost everything because they tried to manifest something. Right. Or they could have been trying to manifest somebody to lose something here. Somebody named could be Rhonda. Yeah. Somebody want to work with you because you're an earth angel or something like that. 
And they like, is Earth Angels into like bonfires and shit? Hell yeah. Okay. Just because we don't practice in the dark arts don't mean that we don't frolic around in the woods and collect our own herbs and do all types of stuff. Our Earth Angel, that's all that's all of it. That mean that they in all of that shit. Except, you know, they don't dabble in the dark energy because we already know. It's it's we already know, okay? It's pointless to us, but it can be very meaning meaningful to someone else. No shade. But um yeah we about all that somebody wanted to know because somebody know you're well versed in candle magic somebody know you're well versed with herbs or crystals and everything of course because you're an earth angel of course i'm telling you okay this could they could be planning to do something around the new moon all right but somebody could have lost everything because of what they manifested on the full moon and they trying to like i guess Recalibrate it could be a Pisces or a Scorpio or something like that, and they want to know if you into that, like you know. Somebody also needs your help because they know you know how to protect the, yourself around Mercury retrograde. They don't, you know, like they want somebody to help them. Okay, like can you help me, like you know, protect myself from this Mercury retrograde? Like somebody might come to you and ask you that. Um yeah they know you real good with the with with the art somebody knows that okay whoever these people are because it's like all right ain't no point of going against you confirmation <laughs> how about we work together because bitch you gotta you super strong and if we work with you if you was you know edge a little you know just a little bit kind of energy so i don't know if somebody's gonna ask you all right but somebody knows something is over because your wishes are uh, being granted. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, my gosh. Wow. So, we got the pathway. We got gift. Your gifts can lead them, all right? They want you to lead them down this pathway. Uh, maybe it's a part. It's something that they want to get into, but they don't have no access, okay? Like, somebody may not really have gifts. Maybe they just do a lot of reading out of the books and finding stuff out from other people they know that you make up your own stuff okay your own herbs your own spells your own you know uh energy all right somebody knows you make your own oils your own stuff like somebody knows you make your own shit somebody knows that um this could have been somebody that used to buy your stuff okay or something like that and you stop by selling it but somebody know you know how to do all of that Okay, pathway to a house, a house and pathway. What's this over here? The death card, something is over, something came to a complete end. mature woman wow i'm so sorry to hear that she getting a message that something is over with this mature woman it's over for the mature woman um if somebody passed away my condolences okay somebody might want to message you and tell you somebody mom passed away or your mom passed away something like that as well somebody might message you and tell you that okay but it's due to something that they tried to manifest and they lost Somebody tried to take a piece of your light and got burnt or something like that as well. Like I seen like a a flare. Like they can't take your energy. So what they can do is only ask, okay, can we work together? You think it's possible? Yeah. Because they know you held in high honor. Look, and we got the courtship. Somebody want to work together with you because they know they would get sudden wealth. <sighs> Man. And somebody's under judgment here. Something's not going to change for a child. Gift and thief in the distance. Yeah, somebody might have, something could have happened. Somebody could have tried to take something from a child. Listen, this could be somebody, like I said, I feel like some sort of family ties for some of y'all. But... Yeah, something is over for a mature woman. Or, yeah, that too. But when it comes to the realms of 
witchcraft, uh, manifestations or something. Somebody knows you powerful and they want your help. I mean, just, that's how it is. Just straight up. <laughs> but somebody feel like you don't trust them or you don't like them or you're not talking to them or something else. Yeah, because somebody trying to get the fuck out of Dodge. I don't know what happened to the rest of the people because a lot of people could be having something going on, but they feel like, you know, it, can we smooth something over kind of energy? Self-preservation and importance. So somebody feel like it's important for somebody to say themselves or it's important for you to say yourself or them. Take it as a resume. That's how they feel. What's the message here, ancestors? What's going on? We got love, all right? Creativity. Yeah, they love how you manifest. Whatever you manifest, it always comes to fruition. They know that. Uh, they love your creativity, okay? Somebody can love the way you create, all right? Because somebody want long-term results. If somebody, if this is somebody that, um... That can make that manifest. It's never long term. It's always like something real short term. And they, because they was working in the wrong realms. Somebody's not, everybody's not equipped to work in the dark. But somebody was working in the wrong realms and they knew they're figuring this out now. And they don't know how to manifest long term success. Okay. Everything is short lived and they don't know how to keep it going. Right. Um, maybe because their motivation is off. That's first and foremost when it comes to manifestation. Uh, don't be so selfish, so self-serving, okay? Because that's how they look at you or they did look at you like that. Like, oh, well, because the way, the reason why something is longevity for you because it's, you be, it's only about you and this and that. And clearly, that's they're realizing that wasn't it because clearly something is longevity, something is long-term, and they're watching you. Like, and it's been like a constant, they like, well, damn, like, you know, they was waiting for something to, like, fold for you, but this shit's still growing. They're like, well, how can I, you know, get some roots like that? Like, how do I, you know, dig deep like that? And it has a lot to do with love. Do what you love. And I'm I'm pretty sure y'all done told these people this. If you don't love it, it ain't going to stick. If you're doing it for money, it's going to go away. Just as fast as that money comes, it's going to go just as fast. If you ask them for certain amounts of money, give me $500 by Tuesday. I mean, you know, you can try it, but it might not work out like that. Like, you can't be in so in control. That's like somebody needs to understand you got to release control when you manifest it. You manifest what you manifest and then walk away like you ain't even thinking about it. And then be surprised when it come. Like, oh, shit, it happened. Like, but if you constantly focus your energy so heavily on something that you want, it's going to get further and further away from you because it seems like you're codependent on that act, on that actual uh, thing, whatever that is, whatever your desire is, you're too codependent on it. Somebody needs to understand that. All right. When you manifest and when you do it, when you use the magic, when you in the arts, when you whatever, however you want to say it, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same damn thing. Whether you're lighting the candle or you setting your intentions or you sitting in the body of water, somebody don't know how to probably man like whoever you are collective, y'all. We yeah, you are earth angel. It don't matter what it is, water, dirt, fucking <laughs> fire, earth energy, whatever, air. Okay incantations all of that works so very well for you and they're like well how did you ground all of it in because some people can only work in one row maybe they just real good with water some people real good with with incantations somebody just real good but they see you real good at all of it so they like well how do i do that it's up to you collective how you going you know but somebody want to know and these could be younger people for some of y'all and they could be like i don't i'm not dealing with this older person no more yeah they want to explore because somebody too stuck in their ways so it's not getting people the results that they want somebody could work at like chipotle <laughs> i don't know why i'm getting burritos so we got a tribe. So exploring tribe. We got do nothing. Innocent. 
body, health, peace. So somebody want peace now because they going through a lot of hardships because you survived this child. Whatever they, these all, and it's crazy because that's how somebody looking at it. It's just you and it's all of us. Like how the fuck is you stronger than all of our energies combined? Like seriously, come on. Like what the fuck are you doing differently? Just standing in your own energy and you have, and I'm pretty sure they've been watching and we all explain how important it is to stand in your own energy. It's so important to stand in your own energy and horn your own energy in because, you know, it's good for groups. That's cool. High five. But when it's time, you know, like, make sure you bring in your own, your A game, your own A game to the whole situation. Not, oh, well, I'm, I'm a lock arms with Tanisha and I'm a lock arms with, you know, Rebecca and I'm a lock arms with, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not one of those. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And everybody energy is thrown in the pot. But just imagine like if you did it by yourself as far as manifesting the things that's for your highest good, you know, um, not petty magic, little petty magic, little, little, uh, oh, I'm going to do a, 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 a shut up spell. Yeah. And that's going to give me the satisfaction that not, that shit is bull. I'm no shade to nobody that practices in these type of realms. But, baby, it's so much bigger magic out here. Y'all need to get about that little pot y'all digging in and go to the big pot where everybody, where the divine beings is because, baby, our shit run deep. And it ain't no little bullshit spells. It ain't no little because we make them up for on our own. So it's not like we're taking from anyone else. It's our own. Somebody wants you to help them do that. It's tribe of people. Yeah, they wanna they like because they don't they never thought that you was into bonfires in the woods and none of that. No, like because they look at you, oh you're an earth angel. Okay. What the fuck? Like what does that mean? Like long as we not summoning no dark ass energies, we fuck we with all of the shits. Okay, fairies love us. Okay, they love earth angels. Okay. And maybe these are people that work with the Fae, okay? Listen, like, um, they need to be, they need, they, they're they starting to see that they need to open up a lot more, okay? Because it's much bigger than what they were taught. And somebody is visually seeing whoever the Earth Angel is, you know a lot, okay? More than they even thought you knew. So, yeah. So it's a tribe going through hardships here, okay? And they trying to see if they explore doing things with love, how this going to work. Yeah, because they want peace and help, good health like you. You got good health and shit. You stay seeing you as innocent. And it's like, they like, well, damn, you know, how did you do that? Because good health and peace is on your side, innocence. They feel like they're going through hardships because they came for a tribe of innocent people. And now they're trying to explore peace and love like everybody else. Because you didn't do nothing to somebody. So these people are going through hardships. They're starting to realize what maybe somebody been watching me, honey. And they starting to realize I'm telling the truth. I'm not just saying that because I don't want you to attack the people. No, listen. If they didn't do shit to you, not right, like not don't do that right now. Like back in the day, maybe you might have got away with some shit. Not right now. We done told you. And they starting to believe that shit because somebody could have passed away. Somebody else got some shit going on. This bad karma. All types of shit happening to these people. They like, well, what the fuck? Okay. You can't attack a tribe of innocent people and think you're going to get away with it. Not right now. Not on this type. Not this timeline. Not this timeline, y'all. I done told y'all. Not this timeline. It don't go like that. And you key keying it up thinking it was funny, doing whatever. And now you look at you now. Look at you. <laughs> it ain't funny no more. You know what I'm saying? It ain't funny no fucking more. That's how they feel. It ain't funny. Shit. I'm saying. Yeah, look. They, now the jealousy is one-sided. So people starting to 
distance themselves, okay? They was jealous of what you had and your happiness, your peace. And it's like melancholy or sadness around them. And it's not fun. I mean, when you manifest and it's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be exciting. You're supposed to have a, you got it like, yeah, it's exciting. All right. Whether you're manifesting some sort of protection and they know something about y'all protection is ridiculous. They like, how the fuck can we get that kind of protection too? <laughs> Cause shit. Okay. They want to have a peaceful day too. All right. They want to have a peaceful day too. Somebody want to have peace and love too. So they trying to explore how to change getting good health or something like that. Spiritually, emotionally, or whatever. They going through hardships. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. They like, can we get, can we do like you? Like, they want to have a hot girl summer or hot, not in that way, but on a positive note, a uh, chill summer. Like, they want to, you know. I guess the dark ain't as exciting as it used to be. I bet. Shit. Because they even had to fall in line. And they just tricking people at this point. Shit. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, they they like, look, 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 look. Okay? Yeah, because they know you understand the rules. I cannot make it up. How one perceives knowledge and rules and communication, generosity in your social life. Third house, they know that's why you be chilling. You uh, you understand the rules, not just what it's saying, but you understand it within your soul. So there's no room for error. And every time, if if there was even uh, you going too far, which I, it would never happen. I just don't feel that at all. But they feel like they went too far, maybe, and they know you would never go past a certain limit. These people are just looking for guidance. Whoever these people are, and they didn't know that you was a like a woodland witch too. Like you, you, you with the woods and the shits in there too. Like you with the fairies and the, you really you can you know. And this is somebody also that doesn't understand spirituality. Okay, just because you are Yoruba or uh, hoodoo, voodoo, um, Wiccan, pagan, whatever you wanna, you know. Whatever you want to say, you are, right? The, the goal of spirituality is incorporating every, all of them. That's what makes earth angels so powerful because we don't leave one stone unturned. We incorporate each and every one of them practices all at once. Y'all don't understand. Voodoo isn't all bad, okay? But it's the people that do the voodoo, that's bad. So, and what I mean by that, uh, prime example of what you would say voodoo is, you get a candle, say you're doing candle magic and you're doing a candle that is a figurine, a statue of a female, it's a statue of a man, the shape of a man, shape of a woman, that would be considered like the, the puppet, okay, right? And whoever the target is will be the shape of the man. The shape of the death. If you're the target collective, right? <laughs> like if you're here doing some healing work, that's a that's voodoo. That's voodoo. But in a high vibration, that's not you not trying to tear that person, you're not trying to tear nobody down. Or if you're trying to heal somebody, um, you doing a healing spell or you helping somebody heal or whatever you're doing. Okay. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. You understand? I hope so. It's like when you in the underworld. Osiris is in the underworld. Shit. Okay. Hawthor is in the underworld. Horus go back and forth. So you got to understand, like, if you working with certain people, right? Certain entities, right? Certain gods. Yeah. Certain. But every, you got to know who you working with. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to work with a guy that wants you to constantly praise them all day long and then get pissed off if you don't give them a crimpet on the altar when they said so. That's ridiculous. In my eyes, do what you want, collective. 
but you want to work it around a stress-free environment environment and the people that earth angels work with is stress-free it's like they just like us it's it's different y'all it's a different it's a different vibe it's a different vibe that's what makes earth angels magic more potent more stronger because we not just oh well we only going to practice because this uh, ritual. No, we got shit that we, we put everything together in a pot. See? <laughs> a little bit of this. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of this voodoo, a little bit of this voodoo, a little bit of this. And I'm going to on this one spell. That's it. <laughs> but people that are traditional, they are, oh, she's crazy. I'm telling you, that's why the ranking is the way it is. But they'll tell them, they'll say, I'm crazy. I'm a fool for that. Why would you do that? How could you? That could never work in their eyes, but it working just fine for whoever you are. It worked just fine for me. Ass energy, right? Clearly. Once people get out of that, my side rules energy, you, your life will be different. It'll hit totally different. It'll hit totally different. Because the only thing somebody's seeing is that you're living a good life and your ranking is so high. That's what, like, yeah, like, the rules and everything. You know the rules. Somebody know the rules here, y'all. And like I said, they like, can you help us? And shit. Can you? Because they like, I can't, they can't take it. They didn't follow the rules. Shit. And they like, well, how do you know the rules? It's embedded in us. We don't read it from nowhere. It's something that you have to know. It's already within you. If you don't know the rules, then you don't need to be playing the magic, babe. And yes, it's in the beginning of your journey, it's always wrong for trial and error. But you best believe, listen to your guts, listen to your ancestors, and listen to your intuition, listen to your higher self. Get a connection with your higher self. Like, really get connected to her or him, whoever that is. Well, it's you, but get connected to it. So, you know, like, they going to be like, bitch, I wish you would. You better not put that 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 mixture together because you're going to fuck around and fuck around with the fuck around. Don't do that. Or whatever the case may be. Whatever. I don't know, y'all hardships and do nothing I know that's right high vibrations it's like this person going through hardships because you ain't do shit your vibration is too high you love yourself this person want to love themselves too we got a tribe of innocent people here tribe of high vibrational innocent people <laughs> Oh, wow. Spiritual haters that was acting fools about the innocent. So you got a tribe of people acting a fool because of you. Someone hates that. I told, wow, why y'all hate that? Like I said, people going to, like I said, say, oh, you're a fool for telling people to do that. But baby, I mean, you know, you know, that's all we can say. And it says, hating on your beliefs, not liking your untraditional ways. <laughs> uncomfortable with the way you spiritually the way you spiritual out here <laughs> the way you spiritual <laughs> somebody's uncomfortable with the way you do things they like well how how do you remain purity and you incorporate so much because we don't do it for the we don't we do it for the highest good we don't we don't we're not doing anything to hurt anyone that's how you are pure the way you are. Exploring your health. They wanted to explore the body, explore the health of a situation, explore and body. Because somebody wanna know how the hell is you so healthy? How are you so in whole or intact? Wow. Six house. Why is they heartbroken about this? Somebody is heartbroken about this. Your six house, they're jealous. Explore and body. 
heartbreaker. Everybody wants them. Maybe because somebody see how you look visually. You're, they, everybody wants you, but not everybody can have you. Due to your sixth house, your responsibilities, of course. Yes, you're very attractive. So somebody sees you as very attractive. They they like really like how your body looks. Like you could take really good care of your body or whatever. And they see you as a heartbreaker. Everybody wants you, but not everybody can have you due to your responsibilities, your talents and your training, your skills, your job, basically, right? And somebody knows that somebody is getting bad karma because they was in a toxic connection. A narcissist is stressed out because they was trying to finesse somebody here. But they know your hidden talents here and it's got them in a mental prison. A distorted masculine doesn't like that you keep shining. You're like irritating a demons, but somebody friend may like you. They want peace and love or something like that. Take it as it resonates. It's a whole tribe of people here that spiritual haters over the innocent. Or they could have been playing innocent eighth house. Yeah, somebody is walking away. Somebody wants to have a rebirth, love and peace. So the situation involves cycles, death and rebirth. Someone's attitude towards change and personal growth. Somebody's walking away. Yeah, because they want to chill too. Their actions is catching up to them. And somebody is salty and mad because they tried to uh, betray you or they did. They was backstabbing. And this person could be very crazy or weird or twisted. No money, no talk. Somebody off the grid. Been hooked on trying to figure out because how the hell is your fourth house like this? And they, they trying to figure it out. Maybe the things that Earth Angels have is like no way that they got that. They got these things uh, just because, you know, like out of goodness. They manifested these things out of goodness. Like it's no way. But that's crazy for them to think like that. But somebody definitely know you have grown they like you is a mad you're very very much so attractive your heart you're a heartbreaker that's how somebody friend is seeing you like damn like so and so this person she they real high vibrational and you they a heartbreaker kind of energy somebody going through hardships because of your high vibration which is wild maybe they shouldn't have attacked you all right they tried to attack you a spiritual hater they didn't like the fact that whatever that you did they could have found out you was innocent it could be a tribe of people that found out that you was innocent like i said those people that was inviting me to the party or whatever but <laughs> it was a tribe of people that found out that you was really innocent and people just somebody just don't like the way that you spiritual not the way you spiritual but the way you do your thing right they don't like it because it's not how they do it it's not selfish you know, it's, you see the sides on everybody's side. You see how it could be good in that. It's, it could be good in this. It could be good in that. And it's good in this. Like, you you take the good out of everything. And you use it to your highest, for your highest good and the people around you. And this is why uh, something is benefiting you the way it is. And somebody is either starting to see that, okay, maybe they had a little group meeting about it or something like that. But there is somebody that feel like you are a heartbreaker. Okay. So we got clean up time. Moldy fairy. That's crazy. So we got clean up time. Wisdom is light as a feather. They know it's time to clear something up here. Maybe clear clear the air. Okay, with the moldy energy, um, clearing the air. Wisdom is light as a feather here. Some of y'all, y'all might need to clear your, uh, if you have like a, um, with some them heating uh, vents where you got to put your filters in. Maybe it's time for you to change your filter. I don't know, because I changed like I changed my filter, like because I'm, I'm allergic to uh, dust and stuff. So if you if you see me clear my throat or something, I know it's too much dust somewhere and I got to clear it. <laughs> so, uh, some of y'all might need to clear the air because it is spring time is here. And, um, if you're, if you're have any allergies and your allergies usually kick in around this time and you get the scratchy throat and you, you know, you got to clear your throat and stuff like that. Like just take, do your due diligence. That's another thing I'm hearing for somebody. <laughs> all right. So make sure you're taking care of yourself. All right. But yeah, all right, maybe somebody do need to check something out. Wisdom is light as a feather here. All right, so let's see. Somebody want to clear the air now that the, they got some wisdom or something here. Yeah, I can't make it up. Take care of yourself. So, yeah, definitely got something to do with mold or they got something to do with you clearing your air. Some of y'all, if y'all don't, if y'all don't, all right, 
If y'all don't uh, have air purifiers, somebody might need to get some of them, okay? Like, just put them in different places of your house. I got one in my living room, one in my bedroom. Like, places that you know you need to, like, keep the air clear, okay, for you or whatever the case may be. Earth Angel is very sensitive to certain things, okay? Like, any clutter, dirt, stuff like that, we don't get down with. Um... So somebody also need to clear their clutter. I don't know if you you need to if you have an office space, sweetheart, you need to put your get some more organization in it, okay? Get a more organized type of situation. Maybe things is all over the place for some of y'all. All right. Things that you and also somebody needs to know the things that you don't remember. It's okay to write them down, okay? Somebody don't like to write stuff down. Mm hmm so somebody's making a choice here because something is old and outdated. I feel like it got a lot to do with this older woman. That's why they ended something with this older person, whoever this is. It's cleanup time. You must choose. Somebody's choosing to clear the air, clear clear something up. The science is already with you. Wow, we got serpents path to power. Exactly. They want it, they want some sort of knowledge here. She's holding that apple. Okay. Got because guidance, they're getting the wrong guidance. Where is it leading them? It's leading them to making bad decisions. So, somebody like you know, um, yeah, like what the fudge? Wow, they're gonna masquerade ball. The past returns for a time, you must choose. So, the past could have came back around to make to make a solid choice here because your Akashic Libraries is available to you. And they want, they want some help. Wisdom is light as a feather here. I'm not, yeah, wisdom is light as a feather. The past returns for a time. So somebody is coming towards you guys, like, because they need guidance. So they feel like somebody sent them down the wrong path. A bitter old person, okay? Somebody that's bitter and cold. You never take advice from them. As soon as somebody start talking that, yeah, with your pitchforks and trying to, you walk away, man. Don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> okay, don't do it. And if that's just who you are, go ahead. Until you heal whatever is triggering you this way, right? Your a natural energy is not anger, all right? I'm just letting y'all know now. So if you're angry and upset and frustrated, that is not your natural state. Your natural state is peace. Your natural state is love, okay? So when you start feeling like that, learn how to ground yourself, check your temperature, see where you going, where is it at within self, like what's going on within me that I'm feeling this way. So somebody need to check themselves here or is going to start checking themselves, take it as it resonates, but you must choose. You got to make a choice, light or dark. You can't do both. You can't be in just doing dark shit. Like earth angels don't do dark shit. We don't, we don't have to. It's, we already know what's in the dark. You know, we can see very good in the dark, though, but we know what's in there and it's no point, you know, <laughs> just no point. Look at that. I know that's right. Now you independent and free. Somebody is now independent and free. They're letting something go with this person. What goes around comes around. Exactly. We got a storm angel. Collisions of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energies. Ancestors. I know that's right. It's bringing an end to something. Somebody could have been doing something using technology or gadgets or something like that. Somebody could have been trying to cause blockages or doing some technical magic. All right. And it's like Friday shit. All right, that's another thing I'm hearing. I don't know what the hell, whatever, do you, whatever. But so my ancestors is like, no, the energies just don't mix or whatever. That's why something is coming to an end here. It's a time for a change. Learning something new. This is somebody ancestors saying you got to learn something new, okay? Also, it has a lot to do with technology because we are an age of Aquarius. Everything has everything to do with technology. So somebody going to have to start learning something new, you know, start researching more, all right? Yeah, there it is. Wing seer. You're seeing clearly. So what I'm saying to y'all is 100% true. Like somebody going to have to really learn, get into this transformation energy. Yeah. Something they thought was finished is bursting back into their life here. Did somebody found a good idea on how to bring something to a complete end uh, by being true to themselves? That's the only way that somebody can bring something to a complete end by being true to themselves. Because somebody was trying to invade their space and now it's time for them to be brave. Because you're attracting wonderful news. They wanted to invade your space, but... Mm -mm. 
Let's see, y'all. Yeah, somebody's seeing the angel numbers and everything, y'all. That transformation is here. Something is changing. Yeah. Finding your life purpose. They seeing that it's time for them to find a life purpose. That is beautiful. And they're going the right way. Because maybe they went to this person because they was older. So they felt like they knew more than you. They took a moment to reflect. That is great. So somebody going through the transformation right now. All right. Yeah, somebody's taking a moment to reflect right now. So how so obsessed somebody was with you. Yeah, and was hiding it. Wow. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. <clears throat> wow. Somebody could have astral projected or did some seance or had a ceremony or something. Somebody having an outer body experience. Wow. Because somebody seeing through the fog. An altercation could be breaking out right now. Laugh a bit. Altercation could be breaking out. Somebody try to astro project to you and something bad happened or something like that. And now they're seeing their, your vision is getting clearer. What else? Or somebody's having an outer body experience because your vision is getting clearer. So this person could have been trying to block downloads or cause some sort of fog, foggy brain, okay? And they mad that, you know, it's fluent. Something is flowing now. What else? Access is denied in the reverse. Block communication. So somebody is seeing that your access isn't denied. You actually grew from a situation. From somebody wishing ill will on you. Your access, they thought they was blocking communication. So they realizing that something was only a fantasy. <laughs> that they was doing something when they was uh, blocking communication. Mercury energy. It is mercury retrograde. <laughs> Be careful what you wish, wishing for, okay? We are in that pre-shadow Mercury retrograde, literally, in a couple days. Like, uh, some of y'all could already be experiencing technical difficulties or something like that. But somebody's wishing ill will, doing a lot of black magic because they was obsessed. A toxic family dynamic sees, like, what? They confused. Like, how the fuck is your energy and aura still pure? How was you having this upgrade? So, you can laugh a bit because they lost their job. They missed a major piece about the mirrors. So once again, like I said, I seen mirrors. Somebody was using big mirrors, old mirrors, like old mirrors. And they had, they was doing it in the woods. So somebody family might really be doing do shit in the woods and stuff like that. Um, Cause they wanted to know how, you know, deep you are into the arts. They know you 10 toes down now. They know. And, but they also know that you not on the same spectrum as them because they do shit like that. Is malicious. All right. They don't do things with love. Child. Some of you, so they're about to mirror the same. The mirrors meant that they gonna mirror whatever the hell they uh tried to do to you. Yeah, conflict is happening. They thought that this would be a good idea. They had a perfect idea to cause conflict, like. They got so many ideas on how to do some bad shit to somebody now. Yeah. Mind reader. Cause conflict to your mind for you to predict something. Now, maybe they was planning to cause conflict or something like that, yo. Hmm. Let's see. All right, y'all, now. Shoot, let's see. What is this? <sighs> Come on. Somebody feel like somebody about to marry their soulmate. They having an outer body experience. What's this astral projection? Bullying. Got them caught up. Somebody could be embarrassed. They could be feeling like it's not fair. Somebody could be talking about this person being confined or trapped. 
or got caught. People are talking about this. Bully. The astro projected to your energy. People, that's why somebody is separating this person. Because it's full of they full of conflict. Distrustful people. Nobody can trust each other or something like that. What else? Introvert. Somebody bullied you here. People are separating from this person. Online community. What is introvert? Yeah, domination. This person could have bribed people to help them dominate your energy. Like I said, dictatorship. So somebody definitely feel like they got bribed. Because the goal was to get wealth by having someone captive. That's why somebody was okay with overindulging. Now somebody's pissed because they've been enlightened that you receive your desires. Or you will receive your desires. Seeing through the fog. Your vision is getting clearer. So that's all. another. They mad because they could have tried to cause blockages. Or something like that. Yeah, being arrogant. Confirmation. So this person was being arrogant. They thought that they could bribe people. This person, damn. They could have got hurt by doing something. Some sort of natural shit. Could have caused some sort of conflict. And listen, stubbornness. They was being stubborn and something could have happened. Somebody could have passed away for real, for real, y'all. Yeah, it did. They was being arrogant. What else? Seeing through the fog. That something was only an illusion that they could isolate a professional. Somebody as talented as you. That was a big risk. Because now people are lacking sleep and suffering from a misfortune that they created. They created some sort of, yeah, that's why somebody is awakened that something was only a fantasy. So they realized and they was being arrogant it was only an illusion that they could isolate a professional. Somebody as talented as you. Pretty much. And you, of course, she was going to survive. You're, look at you. You got like six arms. That's how they look at you. Um, of course, she was going to survive whatever they was trying to do. So natural disaster. This person is like, this is crazy. They like asleep. sleep. They, they suffering from a curse. They're suffering from some misfortune, some sort of curse. Wow. But this is awakening their mind as well. This curse is awakening them. And they feel guilty. Somebody is, a, is sorry. Yeah. Because they realized somebody was just in their ego. Everything was ego based. Exactly. So access denied. They thought that they was going to be able to block communication or block something or block you from something. No, it's in the reverse. They couldn't do that. Yeah, they kind of they got hurt doing that. Yeah. Somebody got, they're in danger because they tried it though. So they feel like, oh shit. Because your access isn't denied. They feel like they're in danger now of some sort of conflict. Somebody's having difficulties. Somebody could have got in an accident. Child, blocking communication in the reverse. They're worried. They feel like they're in danger and they're worried because they scheduled something or they planned something. The plan backfiring on them. Child blocking communication in the reverse. Third wheel enemy. Somebody distrustful. They worried that they can't trust somebody no more. Because somebody's idea is changing. They could have had an idea or a vision that somebody was your soulmate and y'all going to get married. They could have had a vision about a soulmate and you marrying this person. And y'all having this mega jackpot together. Luck and fortune is on your side. So somebody could have got a vision. And they seen that everything you really want or desire is going to come to you no matter what they did. And they're worried that they shouldn't ever trust somebody. 
They told them that this would be a good plan or some shit like that. Growth. You're going to grow from a situation collected or you did. Growth. You grew. Growth. What's growth? Yeah, conflict. Wow. Curse. Wow. So they're fighting because you grew from a situation and you received something. But you live and you learn. You live, you you did it with your gifts because you, you're very gifted. Somebody know that. They know you very gifted. And no matter who they come together with, they know that it's it's nothing. They gotta leave that shit alone. Growth. Whew. You grew and there's conflict because somebody feel like they're cursed. Yeah, and now they're awakening that they are paranoid. They're going to be homeless or casted away or them being cursed. They withdrawing. Somebody like, man, fuck this. I quit. <laughs> okay. Somebody quitting. Curse. Compromise. Okay. Friend, yeah, there it is. Compromise. They want to be friends now. They Somebody want peace and harmony. Somebody want compromise. And they want to be friends due to your origin, who you ever you are, how you create your vitality. They feel like they're better off as your friend than your enemy. Okay. It's just a logical uh, standpoint. It's like, well, you know, this is like a freaking... Mouse coming up against, not saying that they're mice, not saying that, but this is like a mouse coming up against a cheetah. Ain't no way, cuz that that damn mouse gonna win anything, okay? It's like, I don't give a fuck if they bring their whole tribe towards the cheetah, they gonna get eaten by that damn cheetah, okay? Somebody like, listen, it just be better off if we just be cool with somebody, compromise. Because they know you about your network or your, you know, be cool with you, basically. Somebody want to just, that's it. They don't want no beef, whatever. Yeah. That's the only way they feel like they're going to be able to have good luck on their side. Yeah. Because they want stability, harmony, and everything. And we got acceptance. So it's like somebody that hated how you spiritual. <laughs> How they hate it, how you spiritual, they just spiritual gang shit out here. They don't, they don't like, listen, I accept, they got to accept it. You know, you create, everybody create different. Your creations is different or whatever. And they want to create a network where people are cool. Somebody want to create a network where they not enemies of the earth angels or they not enemies of the star seeds. They want to be cool. Like, it's like, we don't got, we shouldn't be beefing. We got too much other shit. We got people that's not woke that's against us. Why are we against each other again? Because it's already people that's already against us, right? No matter what you, what realm you work in, whether it's light or dark, there's already people that's against us. Shit. Okay, confirmation. Like, we got, it's a thousands of billions of people that's not woke and they looking at us as to, to hang us to, the, to some shit, you know? They they looking to do some things to us because they don't understand us. And those that are spiritual or, you know, working in the spiritual realms and stuff, like y'all understand us. Even though we're earth angels, even though we don't work in uh, dark arts, that's okay. Like, why the hell are we not still cool? That's weird to us. But whatever. It'll be a much better peaceful place if all of those that work in, no matter what it is, it's just just finding common ground like all right say less because what if one day y'all what if one day the peoples that's not woke decide to try to come up against us you understand what i'm saying and we beefing with the other side over there because they don't like how we spiritual and they they feel like their practices is better than ours and just imagine if we all came together to knock a, a mother lover out okay like and that's what they're afraid of I believe that because all if all of us worked alongside each other, not like actually, you know, whatever, but didn't have no problem with each other. And somebody that was a regular person try to do some dumb shit and you call an earth angel like, yeah, um, 
such and such and such and such and boop, boop, boop. You know, and this motherfucker, they, 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 they too hyper-focused on what I'm doing here. And I ain't hurting nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to grow, heal, and evolve. That's all I'm doing. And you're like, damn, that's crazy. But let me see what I can do about it. Make sure that you cool. Damn, somebody keep trying to knock y'all shit down. You know what? Let me let me see what I can do on my end to make sure that your shit be ten toes down so can't nobody come swipe it away from you. Now, it's being protected by some golden shield now. Not just your shield, but you got your protection and then now you even got the help of an earth angel helping you to keep your shit intact. You understand what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that's how God would have wanted it. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure because there are people out here that do work that, that's real dark and they got to give people karma, right? And if that's what you do for a living, hey, do your thing, right? But make sure you giving the people karma that really fucking deserve it. And you get what you, you deserve as far as your payout. Because everybody ain't supposed to work in the light. You understand? Oh, this is a per another thing that Earth Angels know. The dark is just as important as the light. Okay? It's, it's all about the balance, though. Just saying. So if, if things become more balanced, then everything will be okay. Like, what the hell is we doing? We already got enough enemies. Then to be spiritually woke and very magical as fuck, whether you work in the dark in the, or the light, and not being able to, like, what? They come for us. All right, you know, so-and-so and whoever that person is, whatever skill they got, they can tap in to see what type of shit they got going on in their houses and be like, oh, no, uh-uh, this motherfucker all the way out of line, man. Let me serve them some karma since they feel like it's sweet. Just imagine being the law in your own town kind of energy or anybody town or just anybody. Like, however, this is resonating for somebody. Just imagine. But y'all two focus on hating each other and that's not how it's supposed to be. This compromising. Yeah. Accepting each other for what we do. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is what it is. And for people that don't want to understand that, then you just lost and you need to start over. Because that's not how it go. Just saying. It is what the fuck it is at this time. Now that they curse, somebody want to compromise. They rather feel like it's better to network with you than against you, which is smart. Whoever this is that is walking away from somebody that's so old fashioned and just stuck in their ways. We are the new age magicians, right? And we, if we want our children's, cause y'all got kids, y'all got picnics right there. Y'all want y'all children's children's children to succeed. We got to set a strong foundation right the fuck now that they can't knock down or make them forget later on in life. And we can't do that if we constantly fighting each other. That's ridiculous. We got people in, man, you, listen, okay? We got laws that shouldn't even be laws and we have the power to change them. And y'all want to fight each other. Tripping. <laughs> Tripping. When God said, here, this is y'all earth. Do what y'all as y'all will. I need y'all to clean this stuff up for us. Okay, bring the balance back. That's all you need us to do. Balance out the light and the dark. Okay, cool. Maybe some dark just got the memo. Like, oh shit, and it would be better off to just you know like fuck around and fuck around, you know. But like I said, they thought, oh, well, I didn't know Earth Angels like having bonfires in the woods. I ain't know y'all do. Yeah, we do all that shit. You know, we might be in bed by 10 o'clock, but <laughs> we we like to have fun too. You know? It's crazy how people perceive earth angels. We not, you know, uh, goody two shoes and this and that. No, we just use our discernment. Like, that's it. We just discerning. And if we know you got unpure intentions or negative, you know, and then some people don't, and they just have just have a really dark spirit, and that's that's just who they are, and accept them for who they are, and that's okay. But that don't mean that they're trying to hurt you. You ever seen somebody look real scary, and 
it's like, oh, I gotta stay away from them. How do you think that make them feel? Like they can't help how they how they come off. That don't mean that they're an evil person to everybody. Maybe that's their 100% go-to, but, you know, they know how to mingle, too. It's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Here. What's the message? Yeah, so somebody, after this painful ending for somebody, there is definitely balance and harmony being restored. All right, because somebody had people going the wrong way in the head. Like, they don't want to do that no more. It's important. The light in the dark is important. And it would be even better if it just, if you just work, like, you know what's about to happen? We need each other to work together at this time. Okay. Like, for real, it's like, if you have seen certain downloads or you getting certain, you know what's about to happen. So it's important, especially now. Like, these people that are already off the rock, off their own rocker, they not going to be able to handle what's to come. So we got to set some sort of order before it even happened. And if we meet up in the spiritual realms and talk about it, that's cool, too. That's all I'm saying. Like, just be be mindful. Yeah, we got soul ascensions. This is having somebody, they're going to feel pow powerless once all of y'all had these soul ascensions. It's people that wanted y'all to be stuck in old paradigms, old ways of being. They're going to be powerless as fuck once y'all had these soul ascensions. Whoever these people is. Or the people that are having a soul ascension right now, realizing that the light is just important as the dark. So... Somebody seeing that. What's going on? Tell me some words, y'all. Tell me some words, my All right. What is this? We got the devil and the eight of wands. Somebody could be upset here that this person had them working for the devil. Somebody told them they was working with the devil or somebody could have said you was working for the devil or you mastered your contract. Okay. With the eight of pentacles as well. And the devil, you mastered something. If somebody's pissed that you mastered something, somebody could be pissed that you mastered something. Eight of wands. Somebody could have told them that it was hard times coming in for them. They could be heavily burdened and in regrets. All right. Because you master something. Or people want to work with you. They're mad or something like that. It's coming in. Okay. <laughs> We got the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is good news and offers coming in. Proposal, Ace of Pentacles. That's going to put somebody in the Nine of Pentacles. Because somebody is seeing the truth now about somebody's jealousy of you being self-sufficient and independent. So that's what it was all about. You did something alone or you did something by yourself or you didn't need their help. So they could have tried to destroy you because they wanted to take your accolades or something like that. What's their obstacle here, though? What was the obstacle here in this situation? The Ten of Swords, somebody having a painful ending. They feel betrayed by the truth. Somebody is heartbroken because they went and investigated it and found out the truth. All right, and the outcome, Strong Virgo, Gemini, and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is not, this was, damn, that's crazy. Turning point. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is reaping what they sow. Something was not long-term. Something was not successful for somebody at all. And now they are in regret. Because something is changing now. Somebody is happy that, you know, uh, damn. Somebody family could have caused an illusion that they would get victory and success if they tried to sacrifice you or let you go or whatever this is. But they laying something to rest here because they don't have no control over the truth or what's about to happen or something like that. That's why somebody's walking away. 
and regret. Could be a Scorpio and a Pisces again. All right, a Scorpio Pisces could be walking away. It was not, they did not get what they wanted. Something was not what they thought. Somebody having a painful ending here that somebody is actually offering you something they can't cause a stalemate for. They regret causing you, trying to cause a stalemate for you and everything. But somebody offering you something because you actually a master at something. You mastered self, master, you put you do the work. You don't look for shortcuts, right? What's this eight of pentacles? And you're very consistent. So somebody offering you this because of that. You don't take shortcuts and you don't, yeah, you do the things the right way. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, Page of Wands. This is good news. This is a message here of your authentic energy. Somebody know you're very authentic. Uh, you one of a kind. Page of Wands to the Ace of Swords. Somebody knows that they will get victory and success with you. Or they know that you're going to have victory and success here because you're very authentic. Everything that you do for your work. Like I said, all your spells, everything is, is all yours. It's not something that's from somebody else. Okay. What is this? Uh, or your all your work you do is free is yours. Like you don't, you know, take a little piece or and then you do it by yourself. Like so, somebody's impressed by that. You alone, you do it by yourself, and you're powerful as hell. Like that's that's impressive for somebody that was in a group setting and it was just all about domination and bullying and nastiness. They're waking like that's not how to do this shit. What are you doing? Like it's not how you do that. Page of Wands. Because somebody was curious, how the fuck did you do this by yourself? How did you master yourself like this? It's every whatever the whatever they wanted to find out, they found out the truth. They like, wow. Okay, wow. Page of wine. Somebody hearing good news about something. They're surprised. Okay. Yeah. Cause somebody definitely tried to make it hard for you <laughs> to do this. But you are a fool. That's how somebody look at you as a fool. You take leaps. That, that nope, like you would put some shit together that somebody would never even think of. Like, what? Like, why would you put that to that? You know, like, oh, wow, that would work. That's another thing. What's the Ten of Wands? So, somebody, like, damn, this is heavy. This is heavy on somebody. What's the Ten of Wands here? The Sun card. Yeah, that they are enlightened, that you're a hermit. That's why you take leaps of faith like that. There is a matriarch that they were working with. That belief systems of what you do is wrong or they tried to scare them. Yeah, this is what caused some sort of imbalance or something. All right. What's this Knight of Cups? But somebody has an offer. All right. What is all of these cards? We got the King of Wands, the Strength card. Okay, King of Wands in the Strength card and the Empress, the true Empress. Somebody is seeing the truth about you, Empress. Yeah. Wow. Wow, the truth about a soul ascension or the truth that a twin flame or somebody tried to is getting realistic about love or how they feel. So there's an offer here being made. Could be a Leo here or of significance with the strength card. They find in their strength and courage here to do something, Empress. What's the strength? So I see you have a lot of inner strength as well. What's the strength? Nine of cups. Yeah. Because you getting your wishes fulfilled. And they mad. Somebody is very upset that you're about to... Because they could have paid somebody to cause a delay for you and it didn't work. Ten of swords. Somebody has had the obstacle is a, end, a difficult ending for somebody. Some insight for somebody. What's the ten of swords? Mercury energy about a magician. Or about magic. Okay. It could be a, a witch. Okay. Another like whatever. This could be uh, uh, somebody that's really good at incantations as well. But whoever this is, this Queen of Wands uh, could have manifested some sort of painful ending for themselves. Or they're confident, yeah, who did what in the past or something like that. All right. There's somebody from your past or whatever this is. Ace of Cups here. But somebody loved the way you healed yourself from the past. 
Somebody could even be shocked that you had the energy to go within and actually find your true self and all of that. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So something can never. So if somebody wanted another cycle of bad luck or a cycle of some bullshit to happen. They can't have it. It's in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This was a poor investment, they feel like. Because something was not long. Yeah, they feel stuck now. Yeah, so it was a poor investment not to give up. They didn't believe. They didn't want to give up trying to call some sort of stuck energy or get you stuck. But you still taking a leap of faith here. Or somebody's taking a leap of faith to give to you here. You didn't miss an opportunity. Four of Cups is in the reverse to have a marriage or have a relationship or something. Somebody know that you took this leap of faith or by you being a fool going within, finding out whatever. That's why your fourth house is so sturdy. That's another thing I'm hearing. So somebody was trying to tear down your fourth house or something like that. All right. Yeah. They salty as fuck right now. Could be a father figure. They see you going through a body transformation, getting fit. Yeah, something about your body. Yeah, yeah that's another thing. You're a heartbreaker. Like, really, this now? Like, so you really taking good care of yourself. Somebody really seeing your glow up, collective. They didn't mean what they said to other people about you, Aries. So somebody could have said something about somebody. Uh, Aries, a child's father failed you. They really sorry. They know you know what they did to you, M. They asked their friend to watch you and they fell in love with you. Let's see. Somebody could be Jamaican, Trinidadian, Haitian. If you're reading this, it's too late. This weekend. Oh. Somebody got unfinished business in love with a fire sign. So, wow, somebody could have also found out you wasn't selling sex. Somebody could have told somebody you was selling sex online or whatever. They found out he wasn't. Tuesday. Your mind game's backfiring. Mind game's backfiring. On a white man or a woman that's a Pisces. They could have a green, tan, brown, or burgundy car. There's no unfinished business in love with a water sign. Balance and harmony being restored in every area of your life. If somebody didn't want somebody to have unfinished business in love with a water sign. Yeah, you're single. And somebody want to be you, they envy you. Three years ago. Yeah, God had been blocking all negative energy projections. Magic is backfiring times 10 on somebody. Yeah, they can't rob you. They was planning to rob you, Jay. Or Jay was planning to rob you. They want to know what's your new number. What else? Divine intervention. Yes, Lord. It was a suicide mission. They've been caught... They tried to catfish you, but you knew it was them. Somebody that was not of the light. All right. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Your children love you very much. Stalker alert. So somebody could be uh, stalking you. Somebody also, and I know this is so far off topic. Somebody that, uh, somebody is not um, circumcised. I don't know why somebody that was trying to do lust spells or whatever this person is not. Yeah. Okay. They might narrow it down for y'all. We got a Leo. Don't trust them. They your ops. They need you to help them grow spiritually. All right. This is a karmic male E with low vibrational energy. So somebody going to tell you, oh, I wanted you to help me grow spiritually. No, they didn't. They was trying to do you something. <laughs> oh, shit. Someone is getting arrested because they phone is tapped. Everybody know this person was pressed about you. Somebody with a Charger, Hellcat, Cadillac, BMW, Subaru. 
All right, Mazda or Toyota. Yeah, fake friend. This karmic cycle is over with these fake friends. Unfinished business in love with an earth sign. Jeez. A year ago. On a full moon Saturday. You made the right choice. Hello. Your ex is stalking you on every platform you got. Z. They not at a light. Somebody could drive a truck or used to. Return to sender to all involved, known and unknown. They staring at your pictures, trying to do beauty spells. It's backfiring on them because they jealous. Like I said, somebody jealous of your looks, your body, and everything else. Yeah, a niece or a nephew? Why? The fuck? That's weird as shit. You, they niece or nephew. Why are they jealous of you? Whoa. Anywho. Um. Whoa. Maybe it's their niece or nephew that's in love with you for real, for real. Somebody could be in love with you. I hope this ain't just no incest shit. The fuck? Kind of crazy shit is that? L, 10 years ago. You meant everything to me. You meant everything to somebody 10 years ago. I don't know what the fuck happened. Hmm. All blockages are removed because love always wins. Mm-hmm. Sacral chakra magic is backfiring. They know they messed up bad because somebody went to jail for trying to steal your identity. This person was not single here. Leaving them behind was the best thing. So... Somebody could have left somebody behind, okay, that was not single. You was the one they about to lose you for good. What else? Yeah, they know who their true empress is. A truck driver know who their true empress is. But they was trying to block you or they was trying to hack your devices and they got locked out. I'm trying to hack you. Oh. Yeah, because somebody knew somebody had unfinished business in love with an air sign. And he walked away from the karmic. That's why they can't GPS track them no more. Okay. On Friday. They want to talk to you now about everything. So you might get a conversation or communication from somebody. That's they, about somebody being low-key jealous of you. And they like you so much because you ain't easy. That's why somebody couldn't come sleep with you or bring they spend a night bag. That's why somebody like you for real, for real. Somebody mom like you because they know you ain't easy. Somebody could, they could even try to send somebody away. You turned them down or rejected them. They like, okay, so at least she ain't a whore, <laughs> you know, kind of energy. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you about to have this new beginning, though. New beginning moving forward here. Sex addict is in the reverse, all right? They created a mess. Was hoping somebody can help them fix it on Wednesday. So somebody really fucked up. <laughs> Due to their religious belief system, Sunday, they lost everything for coming for you. Damn. And somebody, could, that's why somebody could be fighting somebody. They lost a lot for coming for you. They was stalking you at the gym. That dream magic they did, they tried, you were protected from. Wow. They can't believe they messed this up. A Virgo. A Muslim man or a woman. They knew somebody wanted to be with you very bad. And they can't stop missing you. Oh, man. They about to ghost you. A Taurus could be about to ghost somebody. All right. Yeah, you was the one they about to lose you for good, Libra. So somebody could have ghosted you. All right. Or um, 
you was the one. Somebody about to lose you for good for doing some dumb shit that they wasn't supposed to do. And people having altercations because they thought they was going to be able to block something, some downloads, some messages. They was arrogant because they was in their pride or shit like that, y'all. I hope this helped.